Hello everyone! It is Taboo Topics by Fashion First Aid. Today is Tuesday, April 8th, and I'm your host, Honest Kim, along with the psychic sidekick, Annie. Hello everyone! Woo! <laughs> I love it. Uh, today we are going to talk about hats. Let's talk about hats, baby. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about you and me. and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things hats do for me. Let's talk about hats. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is with all these music festivals coming up, and with the Derby coming up, which I am going to, uh, we've got a lot of uh, hat wearing going on. You know, summer weather, you're out in the sun more, you need to protect your skin, you need to stay cool. So we all put on hats, and they're really popular right now for men and women. But what's the problem when it comes to hats? Hat grime, ew. Ooh. So it's gross. And then some hats you can just toss in the wash for better or for worse. And other hats you kind of can't. So yeah, um, let's this talk. bad boy in the, in the wash. That's bad. Is that a meat helmet? What was that? It's a felt hat. Oh, felt hat. It's for my days I'm in Ireland and it's a little wet outside with the fog. Hi, Lassie. Oh, Hi. Let's um, look at the pint. Let's, all right, so, so uh, let's talk about the things that do get on your hat. I mean, it's it's pretty limited. This, you're not getting ketchup stains on your hat that often. Um, but you are getting your kind of body oil, sweat, sebum combination that can leave rings and disgustingness and cause breakouts if you keep wearing it, right? Yep. Um, and then for women and some men, you also have makeup, and for everyone, you have sunscreen. Yep. You can see it on my hat. There is about 30 days worth of sweat, makeup, and sunscreen from a wonderful season of football. <laughs> How'd the charges do this year, Brainer? Not that great. We made it to playoffs. <laughs> for the first time in how long? A couple years. <laughs> In a, in a league where half the teams make it to the playoffs. <laughs> hey, our, our division actually did quite well, but right now we're doing baseball, and our Padres actually might do well. <laughs> baseball. Bah. All right, so let's, um, let's go through the ways you can clean your hats. Um, so, so let's say you've got an already dirty hat like Annie's. Uh, you can, number one, simply throw it in the wash. And it might come out a little warped. It might come out a little mangled. The Velcro on it might kill your other stuff. But in that case, just use um, a cylindrical wash bag. You can get them for kind of bigger bras. The small ones probably won't work for your hats. But we have one called Delicates Defender. It is great to wash anything with Velcro in because it keeps it from kissing all your other items in the wash, especially your hats. It keeps them from getting mangled. So um, I recommend the Delicates Defender if you're going to wash them. Now, have you heard about some people sticking them in the dishwasher? Yes. Have you tried that? No. I've also heard about steaming flounder in the dishwasher. <laughs> okay, right. Again, something, why would you put a hat in the dishwasher? Why don't you just put it in your laundry machine in a bag? I would think the water in a wash in a dishwasher would be far more harsh. Yeah, uh, I mean that's for hard things, not fabric. If anyone thinks differently, if if they've tried it, feel free to shoot us a question on the Q and A. Um, but I'm voting no. I'm voting just stick it in your washing machine in a bag. Um, and the next thing that I think is great to do with hats, especially for those hats you can't stick in a washing machine like your straw hats or your meat helmet or whatever that felt hat was you had, was um, to use white color grime. And that's just a cotton strip. The great thing about Grab white color grime. White color yeah, grime. Yes, is it's 100% it's cotton. Look at that binder. Yep, white color grime right here. It's backwards. But that's white color grime <laughs> in the box. <laughs> Not backwards for me. Um, how it works is you just cut cut a strip that'll fit across here inside your hat. The thing I like about it most is it's 100% cotton, so it doesn't make you sweat, and it um, 
it helps get the hat to be more comfortable. A lot, of, a lot of times what's in there is some synthetic material like a polyester or nylon. So it's kind of itchy. It kind of makes you sweat more. Uh, and this makes it a lot more comfortable. And then all you have to do is change it out. So this is the best thing to do when you get a new hat. Stick one of those in. And then when it gets dirty, just swap it out. It makes such a difference because when I wear my baseball caps or my fancy hats, I'm constantly pushing it up because it's itching. So I'm constantly fidgeting. But once that white collar grinds in there, it fits nicely. And if your hat's a little bit too big, you can also put that in there and it'll give you an extra little snug fit. Aha! Uh -huh. Straight from the mouth of the psychic sidekick. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think that was a pretty straightforward, basic podcast and talking about hats. Uh, be sure and look on our social media feed the weekend of the Derby, the first weekend in May. I will show you my super cute hat, which is being made by Head Candy right now. It's like a hat senator. It's a hat and a fascinator. So we'll see. Um, and now we are. We are, we've come to the, one of my favorite parts of this segment, the Dick of the Week. Dun, Annie. dun, dun. <laughs> Annie, tell us who the Dick of the Week is this week. This week we are nominating Lindsay Lohan because... Hold on, hold on. This is a special Dick of the Week. It's yes. a, it's potential. not a confirmed. Yeah, it's a potential and probable Dick of the Week award. So... Uh, our friend Perez Hilton is talking about how Lindsay Lohan is making the smart decision of going to Coachella. Coachella, for those of you that might not be familiar, is a wonderful two-weekend music festival in Indio, California that includes amazing bands, drinks, and drugs. For a former alcoholic or recovering alcoholic, allegedly, I don't think it's a great place. So we're we're guessing it's beyond not such a great place. It's a downright terrible place for someone who is trying to be sober. So we're guessing that she's going to make some bad decisions and be the dick of the week, not only this week but next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lindsay, look for it in the mail. Your own trunk in my junk might be fun to wear to Coachella. <laughs> Keep them really guessing. Um, all right, and now my absolute favorite part of the podcast. It is time for the psychic sidekick's psychic prediction. Hopefully, she all I'll right. put my hands out so she can give me. Give the me your psychic. hands. Give me your hands. Wait, flip. Okay, sorry. All right. So this week, I predict music and sugar in your future. Lay off the sugar. Lay off the sugar. The music will make you dance and sweat. And then numbers 2, 5, 6, 44, 122, and 5 are your numbers this week. And you should definitely get a manicure this weekend and probably a hand massage too. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. That was amazing. Psychic Sidekick, as always, thank you so much for your, your time. Next week, we will be talking about how to look great in a swimsuit. So swimsuit cheats, things you can do underneath to look better when there's not much there covering you. Um, we all need that, and especially for those of us that might not be working out like maniacs getting prepared for beach season. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm your host, Honest Kim. This is, and that's Annie, the psychic sidekick, with Fashion First Taboo Topics by Fashion First Aid. See you next Tuesday. <laughs>